guys and welcome back to my channel today we are going to do an exciting video and this is going to be my panda palette intro for 2020 yeah that that was weird to say but we are in 2020 now and i'm really excited to bring back panda palette i failed last year i gave up like a chicken but i thought i wanted to join the fantastic ladies for this year and we are doing something uh, called panning solitaire it is my friend erin that has created it so i was like i need to try at least so this panda palette is a little bit different than the normal panda palette that amber f created uh, years ago it's not a whole palette it is like you work on a single duo trio quad quint etc and you kind of start off with the single then you move on to the duo trio quad etc and i thought that was an amazing idea and not just to finish a whole palette but focus on the smaller ones that you have in your collection fortunately enough i don't have that many duos or trios I actually have none. I do have some quartz though and some singles that I really want to work on. I am working on the singles in Single Ladies and My Man Mad, but I thought I was going to focus on some shit in this as well. So let's see how I'm doing. I really hope I can finish off some shadows this year because I didn't do that well last year. <laughs> I did I did have Panam some shadows in the other project to prepare for this one, so I hope everything works out. <laughs> I chose the single duo and trio and quad set um, for this project and then I can move on to a, a quint or a six pan on something like that because I have some plans for that as well if I manage to go that far. <laughs> but you have to use them up in that order. So first single, duo and quad, so on. So I arranged and organized myself for that so i can work on the darker shadows for the uh, quad and then it will eventually get used up <laughs> last <laughs> i hope that makes sense let me show you my single duos and so on this is my small c palette my perfect palette this is going to be my single duo trio and then i have a quad here from maybelline it is this one right here. Oh. Let's start out with the single. The single for this project. I have chosen the Benefit single in Call Me Buff. This was from a holiday set. As well as the two I'm going to show you for the duo. As you can see I have hit pan. And this is a beige satin shade that I really like for my brow bone. It doesn't do much on the lid or the inner corner, so the brow bone it is. And it took me a while to pan, but it is a good size pan and there's a massive dip. So I think this will be quite easy to finish. And, and the duo is these two shadows right here. So the first one is called Nude Swings. And I just hit pan on this last month, I think, for the Product Single Ladies and My Man Mad. So this is how it is looking like right now. I have some pan, a small dip. It's not expanded that much like the Call Me Buff shade, but I do think this is a nice color to work on for the duo because it's a rose gold champagne shade that I can use all over the lid and I really like that shade. This one though, I haven't used it much. It is called Taupe, Me Taupe It Off. Um, so yes, it is a taupey color, but I think it will work really great with the rest of the shadows that I'm focusing on for this year. Because I am focusing on the shadows that are rather cool toned, I should say. These are the three in the trio. They are all from Catrice and they are called Absolute Eye Color and this one is called on the top of the matte Everest. So as you can see I have a small pan in the corner. It is a easy, an easy transition shade I should say. It is beige but it's not as light so I can use it on my brow bone. I need to use it in my crease otherwise it will look weird. Then we have Starlight Espresso. Espresso? Espresso? 
I haven't used this one that much. So it is almost brand new. So that is why I chose it for the trio. This one broke a little bit when I depotted it. This is called Game of Stones. So yes, this is a more a darker kind of crease outer corner shade. So far I have decided to use this on my brow bone, eyelids, crease and outer corner. Mostly crease. I don't think they are that pigmented. So I think I can use them as well. Then we have the cord. I wasn't sure if I was going to add this one in, but I really want to work on it and use it up because Maybelline is not cruelty free and so uh, so are the benefit shadows. The Catrice ones are cruelty free, so it doesn't really matter that much, but I really want to finish this as well. So it has a lighter shade and then some darker shades. I really like this cord and this is more shimmery than the benefit single shadow so i think this one can be used in the inner corner as well as the eyelid this small cord from maybelline is called smoky eyes in natural smokes so this is where i am for the intro as you can see i have used it not that many times so it's almost brand new it will be a challenge but i do think i can do it it's not that big does it say even yeah, five grams in total. So I think it is doable to use this up. So yeah, a white shadow, a taupe, a maroon and a dark brown. And maybe the dark brown I can use in my, sh uh, my eyebrows because it's rather matte. The other three are shimmery and satin like. So I think this is going to pair nicely with these shadows that I am going to work on further other sets. So this is where I am for the intro in January. I'm really excited to see how I do this year. Like really excited and I'm really excited to watch all the other girls or panas in this collab. They are all listed down below. If there are too many the master link will be linked. You can find them all by using the hashtag and so on on YouTube and Instagram and you will find them. I hope you guys enjoyed this intro. I'm really excited and kind of nervous at the same time, but I'm really excited to start a new year and work on some new stuff. It is really exciting for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed and until my next one, please take care.